Hello siblings, I hope your day is going fantastic. Today I'm welcoming you to my first episode of many coming soon of Cooking with Sid. I have a really bad problem with eating out, like really bad. So I'm just gonna learn how to make like food I actually like at home. So today, I'm gonna be attempting to make an In-N-Out burger, including like the sauce, the yummy In-N-Out sauce and everything. The only thing I'm not gonna be making is my own buns. The recipe I'm following, the guy made his own buns, but I do not trust myself to do that. So everything except the bun is gonna be In-N-Out vibes. So let's get started. First, we're gonna start off by making the sauce. All right, pulling up my recipe. Okay, so first I'm starting with two onions and two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Oh, goodness. <laughs> all right, here's my initial ingredients. I'm just gonna dice up all of these onions and then throw them on the stove. How do you dice an onion? Like this is quite a bit of onion. Ooh, I guess I'll just cut it a lot until it's where I need it to be. <laughs> Am I the only one who actually loves cutting onions? This is definitely the most onions I've ever like cut at once. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the butter and we're gonna throw it on medium heat. And then I can slowly add in onions because this is like a lot. My cutting tray is not big enough for this. <laughs> this is far too many onion to be on my thing, so I'm gonna put it in a bowl. Oh my gosh, it's never been this bad before. I'm making such a mess. Can I make more of a mess? Guys, one of the main ingredients for the sauce is ketchup. This is all the ketchup I have in my house. How did I not know I was just out of ketchup? <sighs> so I think I'm actually gonna go over to my cousin's house and steal their ketchup. They're out of town, but they won't care. So I'll be back with ketchup. Guess who didn't have ketchup? My cousins. <laughs> so I've sat here and I've debated. I could shipped order ketchup to me. Um, it would end up being like $15 for ketchup. Don't really wanna do that. I could um, make ketchup, but I also don't wanna spend the next hour making ketchup. So I think in conclusion, we are going to do this sad, sad thing. We are gonna use all that I have. So we'll just have to make minimal sauce, I guess. I also need chives and I don't have those either, so. We are struggling so far. Hopefully this still tastes good. Which means I definitely didn't need to cook two onions if I'm making this small amount of sauce. All right, there we go. Ketchup, every last bit, please. So we're just gonna estimate since we're just going off of this. So I should just use, oh wait. So it calls for half a cup of ketchup and three fourths cup of mayonnaise. So I just need like a little bit more mayonnaise to mustard, or to ketchup ratio. Okay, that's good. And then I don't have chives. So I need Worcestershire sauce. I do have that, I bought that. We are just big time struggling. Like who doesn't have ketchup? Me, I don't. Okay, how much of this? Two tablespoons, so we're just gonna do like very, like I'm just gonna fill this cap, very minimal. And then a pinch of salt. like the sauce. It's that nice like pinky orange color, so that's good. I'm so sad. It's so little amount of sauce. I'm really sad because I bought like these little things because I was gonna fill it with in and out sauce and then I just like have it, like I made it. But now I have very minimal amount. This is like gonna be just enough for my burger. So that's a little disappointing. Also, this is definitely gonna need more time because only the like a little bit of them are brown. Like a minute left on the clock. That's okay, we'll just keep going. I didn't know 30 minutes could go by so fast. So the only other thing I'm gonna need for my sauce is I'm just supposed to dice up a pickle, so that's easy for me. Finally, something simple. And then once those are done, we're just gonna mix it all together. Since so I'm making so little sauce, honestly, like half a pickle is probably fine. So while my sauce is finishing up, I'm gonna be starting on the burgers. So he says to cook it on like one of these things. Mine is so deep for some reason. Anyways, so I'm gonna put it on medium to high heat till it's super, super hot, and then put it on oil and the burgers. So let's get this started on heat. This is kind of an awkward angle we've got going on here. This is what the guy in the video I'm watching told me to do. 
and then flatten them. I'm being attacked. And then I'm gonna season with salt, a lot of salt. I'm also gonna add garlic salt because I love garlic salt. And then wait. It's super loud, so you can barely hear me, but I kind of burnt the first two. Are we surprised? So now I am cooking the other two, hoping this goes better. In other news, my onions are definitely done. They're nice and brown. So now I just have to add a little bit of these, you know? Um, the ratio was very off, because I thought I'd have ketchup. And add in some dill pickles. Here we go. Onions. Mix it all together. Wow, it does look like in and out sauce and it looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yeah, that is 100% in and out sauce. I didn't even like make it right. It is really good. I hope the burgers turn out good. Oh, I also totally forgot and this doesn't have to do with like cooking because it's just in a bag, but I bought fries to make to go with my meal, so. I should have been doing this. These fries look really good. Wow, I am a chef. I can't wait till it's all like done. I don't know what to do with these extra onions. Okay, these burgers are going much, much better. So I want onion on my burger, so he recommended to like kind of lightly cook them. That's what I'm doing. That's a bell pepper. I also like tomato on my burgers. Everything is coming together. I'm gonna toast my buns and then cook the fries and everything. I don't know, I'll just see when it's all done, I guess. Everything is done except the fries, so it is now time to assemble my burger. So you guys can just watch. We've got my toasted buns. And first I'm gonna start by putting a ton of this sauce I made on there. Next I have a slice of tomato and my instructions told me to salt my tomato, and I'm running out of salt. My tomato to bun ratio is quite off, but it's okay. Um, then lettuce, I couldn't get like a big slice. This is all I could do. <laughs> I also couldn't cut just like one slice of onion, so we're just piling onions on like this. This is quite an oniony burger. Now for our burger patty. Da 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 da! She's very sad looking, but all together, this is my burger. It looks interesting. Okay, time to try my burger. I've got my Sprite and my fries are almost done, but I just wanna eat this. Whew. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Is it good? This is like such a big burger bun. How do I eat this? Oh, here we go. This side looks promising. Wow. It definitely tastes like in and out That is really good. I do feel like there is like something off, but I don't know what it is, but it is just like so good. Wow, I'm a chef, honestly. Everything except the burger tastes amazing. The burger is good, it's not amazing. I've literally never made burgers before, so that was interesting and hopefully I can get better at it, but this is what, we, this is what we're working with right now. Fries are done. I feel like they could be cooked a little bit longer, but they're pretty good. And I pretty much already ate the whole burger because <laughs> I was starving and now I'm really, really, really full. But that is gonna be the end of today's video. I feel like it was like, I don't know, I wouldn't say it was a flop. I'm gonna rate this whole experience as like an eight out of 10 for my skills. And hopefully the more kind of videos I do like this, I can get better at filming it, better at like being prepared and you know, everything that goes along with cooking that I'm not good at. Oh. Oh my goodness. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.